so incredibly organized that they're actually making me feel slightly inadequate in terms of my approach to life. And Tristan's absolutely right. They are fascinating to watch. I'm so excited that you've seen Mvula, by the way. Um, Brian, our termites sort of pale in comparison, don't they? Yeah. I know. But at the same time, they are fascinating, and I've just been sitting watching them and thinking profound thoughts about the nature of life and working and what it must be like to be a termite, essentially. I've been watching all of the workers, and you can actually see them laying down the mud as part of their extension to that termite mound. As the same termite mound that we were looking at earlier, I think. I think it's the same colony. They're just expanding. And it makes me think of human beings, this constant outward expansion of their termite mound. And I, I, it's kind of got me questioning why. I mean, obviously the termite colony grows constantly. Do they really need more space, though? It's just this complete natural instinct to just keep building. Unfortunately for them, they've picked a road. So this particular patch that they are spending hours and hours of their day is going to be gone in the space of a few seconds, especially if Mvula comes this way, which looks like he might. And watching the way that they go about it, that little head shake, that little head rock, as they place the little rocks and stones and pieces of sand. Oh, soldier, soldier attack. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> That was terrifying. That was so rapid. Now, Ash, you want to know why do the termite mounds give off so much heat? A couple of reasons, Ash. One of them is the fact that you've just got a lot of little animals. And like all animals, they're giving off metabolic heat, just like human beings. Admittedly, not as much, but when you pack in thousands in a termite mound, you've got that sort of situation. And then you've got the fact that these are... These are fungus farming termites so they have fungus in their termite mounds that they are taking care of and nurturing and as the fungus breaks down the various wooden particles that the termites bring it they release heat as well and that's actually one of the reasons why termite mounds are built because it's basically a chimney system or a vent system where they will place various vents in various areas in order to cool down their home so of course a termite mound is basically one tenth maybe of what's actually going on below the surface but they do they are very very important because it's a way of cooling down the termite mound they open up the vents they shut down the vents and brian it was warm mm. that air coming out of there yeah. admittedly it is a chilly morning but it was really toasty warm Although I always find that that heat from a termite mound slightly odd because it's kind of humid. Yeah. It's a very damp heat. Yeah, Brian agrees with me. I've sat and watched these termites with a deep degree of fascination. And they've basically closed up this whole... Initially, this whole thing was open. Now they've almost closed this bit. And they've almost closed this bit. This one chap did such a good job. He brought in a whole pile of sand particles. I don't know why I find such fascination with watching termites. I know we do it regularly on our bushwalks, but on a cool and cloudy day, you get a sort of unparalleled view into their lives. And it just... I know it's not. Obviously it's not. Nothing out here is, is pointless. But it feels so pointless. What a, I mean... This this little mound in the middle of nowhere. This little extension of their termite colony. Why? Is it the beginning of a termite mound? I guess it must be. <laughs> Louise wants to know if I'm having an existential crisis. Luckily, Lou, I don't have to do the same job as a termite. That would be most unfortunate, wouldn't it, Brian? Yeah. Imagine if we had to do this all day, every day. What would you be, Brian? I think you'd be a soldier termite. I don't think you'd be a worker termite. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? I'm not sure. I'd probably be a worker termite. 